Um, let me say the the uh, the fact that 44 heads of state and government uh, gather uh, is a show of unity, you know, <laughs> that uh, indicates those not attending Russia and Belarus. Uh, so uh, the significance is there. Now, the question is how to take it forward, uh, how to formalize a geopolitical alignment, um, whether there would be some sort of uh, declaration, whether there would be some form of uh, further um, dimensions uh, added. And that's uh, really a sort of blank sheet. Mm. I want to ask you about Germany's position, obviously the biggest economy within the EU, but a couple of things have happened over the last couple of days, you could say uh, tipping the apple cart somewhat. First of all, with the establishment of this 200 billion euro stabilization package, Germany have sent the message that they're looking to tackle the energy crisis alone rather than coming out with a unanimous measure at the EU level. And then they've also upset uh, their allies in the U.S. by indicating that the U.S. were taking advantage of uh, European shortfall on LNG to raise prices. And obviously the backlash has been quick also from the U.S. as well. So what do you make of Germany's stance right now in going at it alone vis-a-vis -vis the Europeans and also with this harsh rhetoric against the U.S.? I don't know, you know, what the extent of miscommunication and what the genuine, uh, you know, intention to, to go alone. I mean, it's clear that uh, because of the budgetary situation in Germany, Germany has far more budgetary resources than uh, any, any other uh, European country and can actually, uh, you know, use them to subsidize uh, its, its, its industry, uh, to subsidize its, uh, its consumers. Now, to be fair, uh, some other countries have done it before. And uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm from a country, France, that uh, started early to uh, have a sort of generalized price cap on, on gas and, and electricity to protect households. And it is in the process of uh, you know, extending uh, this kind of protection to, um, to, to companies. So. So I, I think the, the, the big issue, and it's, it's really now in the uh, open debate, is you know, what is the open dimension to it and what's the national dimension to it? Um, and it's a, difficult, uh, it's a difficult question because we're speaking you know, of a field in which uh, the, the open dimension has always been half there and half absent. Mm. 